Hello, I am Mal, and welcome to my new Let's Play of the Gothic Spaghetti Western turn-based tactical game, Hard West. Now, if you're looking for just my general impressions, whether or not I think it's worth your time, um, there's going to be a link right about, I guess, here-ish, <laughs> that'll take you to my first impressions video, which actually functions as essentially episode zero. Uh, for this new Let's Play. So if you just want a general overview of the game, just click that link. And then if you want to join me for ongoing adventures of Hard West, then just come back to this video. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to campaign. And as good as dead, I showed the very beginning part of this in the first impressions video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart on this campaign scenario. Now, when you first load into the game, it might look a little different for you, but you should have at least these first two available. Hard times and as good as dead. I'm going to pick up from where good as dead sort of ended in that first impression video. So we're going to restart. We've got the option of uh, basically easy, standard um, or veteran mode. I'm just going to play on standard and then the optional modes of combat entries or Iron Man. Combat injuries, if you get hurt or your enemy gets hurt, you're going to function. Um, your functionality is going to be reduced. So you're not your aim and movement and stuff like that. Um, I don't feel the need to play with that right now. I might do that later on. We'll see. And then as far as Iron Man goes, I mentioned this in the first impressions video as well. It's somewhat irrelevant. You can play with it on or off. It doesn't matter. Most of the characters are required for the story to move forward. So if you get killed, you're going to have to start over in that scenario anyway. So it's somewhat uh, moot. I think. Anyway, let's do this. You lost everything, became an outlaw on the run, but you still had Florence, the love of your life. You were drifting through settlements, evading the law, gambling. You did well enough, but whenever you won, someone had to lose. And if there was something the masked man truly would not stand, it was losing. Then, out of thin air, a gentleman appeared, offering to resolve your predicament in return for your soul. Unaware of the gravity of your situation, you told him to go to hell, just as they surrounded the saloon. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make a quick cut and come back to you. What happens here at the very beginning, and I already covered this in that first impressions video, is that you and your companion um, die. And it's kind of, it's, it's, it's sort of a little tutorial because you can't get out of the bar that you're in. Um, and the only way it ends is with you dying. And then you come back um, to seek revenge. You've essentially sold your soul and you come back to the same town um, and you're going to, you know, you're in a position to then extract revenge on those that killed you and yours. So I'll see you in just a sec. You gave your soul for a shot at revenge. Trapped betwixt life and death, you now belonged to neither realm. The coffin nails didn't hold fast. You were supposed to be dead, so no one took notice right away. You considered raising the alarm to bring in more enemies, just to satisfy your bloodlust. Okay, so now we've essentially come back from the dead, and we are in what's referred to as nightmare mode. So you can see it's dark out, uh, we won't cast a shadow, which means it's easier for us to sneak around. We're sort of in the setup phase. Uh, in other words, combat hasn't begun yet, and won't until we actually are noticed or we kill a target or what have you. We have several and we're going to have more uh, because there is an option right here. Send a distress call over the telegraph to summon more enemies. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. So as you can see right here, there's a little like hand icon, whatever you want to call it. So this piece of machinery is the, the telegraph. So we'll be doing that in just a moment. But let's take a look here. All right. First off, if you're not familiar with um, XCOM, which I'm sure many people <laughs> like me are, uh, especially if you're a fan of turn-based strategy, the combat system is basically the same. So that means that in this case, I have two action points um, and I can move like this or I can dash. Well, hold on one second here. Hold that thought. 
Let me move back here. Technically not in combat yet, so I don't have my two action points showing yet, but essentially this would be the extent of the range of one action point, and then I could quote unquote dash to go to another. Now you'll see here, like for instance right here, that full yellow uh, shield, that would indicate that that's a full cover position. If I went over to somewhere like here, that would be half cover. Let me explain the rest of the UI to you. I think by default it is L or I, maybe it's I for to bring up your character screen. I changed mine to C. You can obviously do that in the, the key binds if you want to. So we've got our equipment here. We have our total heat, which is based on the weapons that we're carrying. We have our total health pool right now is eight. Now you'll see under talents, we have this shadow salve. So every time we get shot, as long as we're not in direct sunlight, which in this case in nightmare mode, we never will be, we're gonna regen health every turn. So as long as you don't get surrounded by too many opponents in this, in this particular scenario, calling in more enemies to kill off or whatever really isn't a problem. Now, is there any essential benefit from doing that? Um, my understanding is that these secondary objectives will give you, um, will give you more things like for instance cards which we don't have yet um but there is a card system in the game uh it is part of the the inventory it's actually part of the character screen but we don't have it yet and that's going to actually give you abilities like this shadow self and you can mix and match those cards to create a better hand like for instance if you have five of a kind um, which would be four, you know, like four jacks plus a joker card. So you'd have, well, excuse me, five of a kind. Then you'd get plus four damage, which is like ridiculously good uh, on top of your regular weapon damage. You can pretty much one shot anything that I've encountered so far playing the game. Okay, now let's, let's look at the rest of the stats. You've got aim of 65. It's got a defense of 17. So obviously aim is, well, your aim, whether or not you can be able to hit something. Your defense, so how, how difficult you are to hit, your movement, how quickly and how far you can move, and your sight range, how far you can see, you know, your opponents. You have two weapons, uh, or two weapon slots. Um, generally speaking, what will happen is the sort of handguns or revolvers, I think overall are better simply because of the number of uh, shots that you have, and you can do things like fanning where you fire multiple shots if you haven't moved. Um, shotguns are good, even though they're, because they're cone and you can hit multiple targets, but they're not, they're not that great in my opinion, um, in terms of range. Yeah. So uh, we'll get into that more as we get access to more weapons, but generally speaking, I think pistols are stronger in this game. You do a lot of conflict at short range. Okay. So speaking of conflict at short range. Let's get to that. I'll go over the rest of the icons as we start fighting. Uh, let's see. Do I want to hit the telegraph right now? Probably not, actually. Let's... Let's, um, kill a couple guys and then do the telegraph. Okay, so we've got one target right there. He's in the clear. Okay, now since he's in the open, we have a 60% chance to hit him for five damage. He only has three health, so if we hit him, he's dead. Um, and actually, hold on, let me swap weapons. No, I don't want to subdue. 55% chance to hit him with the pistol. So we do have a little bit better chance with that particular rifle at this range. Yeah, it's plus five aim. All right, well, I guess I can use it and then swap when they get closer. Okay, well that guy's not getting closer. <laughs> so now combat has started. They'll start coming our way. Okay, we've got movement over here at the bar. And that guy's got no cover. Let's take a shot. 60%'s not bad. It missed. Now I don't I, you probably didn't see over his head, but there was like a negative to his luck total. And you just saw that happen to me as well. Let me bring the character screen back up again, and we'll take a closer look at that. Okay, minus 33 luck, he missed. So the higher your luck pool, okay, as you can see right here, the less chance that they're gonna have to hit you, but it, it, it's, you know, that whole, I ran out of luck, <laughs> right? You're getting a shot at, you finally get hit. Oh no, I ran out of luck. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. 
So that's essentially what happens here. Uh, this powers um, special abilities too. Some of them are passive, like for instance, the Shadow Salve is, um, is, is passive, so it doesn't matter, but some active abilities will require uh, luck and some of them sizable amounts of it. So it is an expendable resource that you gotta kinda keep your eye on. And sometimes it's a good idea to kinda um, almost bait them into, into, into hitting you, uh, particularly if you're behind cover where you take less damage. Um, if you're behind half cover, you can see like for the instance with these weapons, if you're behind half cover, a lot of times you're only gonna take like one or two damage. If you're behind full cover, it's generally speaking one damage. Um, so sometimes you actually want to draw getting hit just to build back up some of that pool because it does come back. Okay, so let's see here. That guy's in the open. That guy's in the open. These guys are not too bright. All right, let's switch to the pistol here. 68% or we could do fan. So you take three shots at negative 20. I think we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Now we'll be able to do that again next turn because we've got enough ammo to do it and then we'll have to move away. Howdy. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're gonna move away and probably go ahead and reload. So we'll take one action and move in here. You can see one star went away. I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Now it's not gonna fully reload the weapon. I'm only gonna get three rounds back, but that's okay. Let's see, we got back 10 luck. That's automatic regeneration because we're in nightmare mode. As you can see right here, nightmare regeneration. Plus two hit points per turn, plus 10 luck per turn, plus 10 aim, plus defense. Yep. Now that'll change from scenario to scenario. It's not always like that. Okay, so we're gonna move over here and we're gonna go ahead and use the telegraph to call in more opponents. You telegraphed the enemy to send more math. You weren't done dispensing justice. Because why not, right? More enemies, the better. <laughs> it's gonna get a little crazy here, folks. We're gonna get beat up for sure. Okay, that guy's nice and out in the open. Should be able to one-shot him. Question is, where are his buddies in proximity to him? We have line of sight from here? We might not, actually. Hmm. Alright, let's move here. Nope, no line of sight. Well, then let's just take this opportunity to reload, then. Okay, so while they're moving around, you can see that I can go up by level. This is on the mouse wheel, so if I do it forward, I go up. If I pull it back, I go down. Q and E will allow you to rotate the camera around. WASD allows you to shift the camera around as well. Let's see. Where did you go, dude? Let's go take a look. Ah, there you are. Hi. Goodbye. Uh, he's got a buddy back there. Mm, I might get flanked by that guy. Depends on how fast he is. Okay, we got a lot of people shooting at us now. Okay, so we did get hurt finally. You see we got plus 70 luck back when we got shot. As long as this guy doesn't come up and shoot us in the face, we'll regenerate some health and we'll be okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Position's a little bit precarious since we got hurt so, so much. Hmm. I think we're gonna do the better part of Valor and do a tactical retreat. Yeah. Like, to here? So we're gonna do a double move, both AP points, to dash back here. This is a good spot. Yeah, because we can sight, we can basically stay out of their line of sight and we can step back and forth here and shoot down either way. 
Got one opponent down here, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, he missed. Good. So we'll shift to the other side, kill any targets that come our way. It's our chance to hit this guy. We could fan, but that's a pretty low chance to hit. Yeah, it's pretty far for the handgun. Hmm. I don't want to get surrounded. That would be bad. I could move inside and take a shot at somebody, potentially. No windows along here. There's a window here, but it, honestly, it should be obstructed for them. All right, let's move inside. Okay, no one's there. Good. Let's see. This guy will probably move up here, maybe. All right, let's move right there for now. Get some more regeneration going. Yep, yeah, here's our next contestant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no problem. Should be able to kill him pretty easily. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of guys we called in. Hmm. One shot? Uh, we better fan to make sure. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> he's dead like three times over. Dead like disco, as I like to say. Okay, this guy doesn't have a flank because he can't see us. Okay, do I have any ammo left? Yeah, I do. Alright, shoot that guy. Nice. So this guy right here may or may not come around the corner, we'll see. Yep, there he is. Hi. Probably should have reloaded and then fired, but eh, it's okay. That's what we'll do right now. We're going to reload. And we're going to reload again. All right. There we go. And somebody out here-ish? What it sounds like. All right, let's switch weapons. There we go. Rebuild. Go ahead and redo the. Excuse me. Reload the double barrel shotgun. I think we'll stay here for one turn. I have an available action point, but I'm just gonna end the turn by hitting backspace, and then next turn I'm gonna move here to check out what's going on out here. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, multiple buddies coming up. All right. Well. Here. Let's shift over here, like so. Hi. Next contestant. Oh, okay, hold on now. This is getting a little serious here. Got a buddy over here. We got another pal over here. Hmm. Probably best to move here then. And get rid of this guy, hopefully. We might be better off switching, actually. Hold on. Mm, no, we're not, actually. Okay. So we'll do it with the shotgun, then. There we go. Then we'll switch to the pistol and take care of these guys as they come in. Yep, like this guy. Now, because we're behind cover, he only did one point of damage, because we're behind full cover. Now, depending on his weapon, you can get weapons that do more, but they're not going to do much, which is good. You can actually get special abilities later on where cover doesn't even matter. Yeah, called Golden Bullet, I think, where you just shoot right through. Now, this is a situation where having my shotgun so I could do cone shot would have been good. Hmm. 
I think what I'm gonna do is relocate inside here. Or even back over here, because I want to get that safe open anyway. Well, even if they hit me straight on, they can't do enough damage to kill me if it's just these two. Huh. I don't remember how much cone shot is. Yeah, AP wise. You know what? Shoot this guy in the face. We'll just soak whatever damage this guy does. It'll be fine. It'll hurt, but it'll be all right. Mm. <laughs> Ow. Howdy. That nightmare regeneration thing is where it's at. Okay, let's see. Let's move over here. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. They've got three shots left there. Go ahead and reload that shotgun. And move back this way. Reload. There we go. Now we're back to full, and then shoot this guy in the face. Every living soul there was oh. dead. <laughs> I was going to loot that safe, but oh well. We're just getting started. All right, mission complete. The stranger somehow stopped you halfway to death after that fateful night. The news spread quickly. Masked man, your nemesis went into hiding. All right, after the fray, a stranger approached you again, said he knew the masked man's location, but that telling you would spoil the sportsmanship of the hunt. Didn't pay much, uh, much mind. You knew that uh, if you took mo enough money from him, he'd find you. And the stranger made an ominous request. He said that if it took you one, if you took 100 lives, you would be rewarded handsomely. Okay, interesting. Stranger asked if you'd met any of your enemy's enemies. He said he'd heard of a tale of an old man named Murray. Seems he ran the gin mill and had crossed the mass man somehow. Tracking him down might put you closer to your target. Okay, so now we're on the, the Overland map. Now, I haven't done this part of this scenario before. I actually did some of the others, but I'm at least familiar with the way the interface works. So, let's see. What do we got here? This is a star, so it's an objective. Ravage 65,000 worth of the Mass Man's properties. Go to the gin mill and talk to Murray about the Mass Man. Kill 100 people for an infernal reward. Inter interesting. Okay. Very, very cool. Okay, and this is us right here, this floating skull, by the way. So we've got 75 coin. Not much to work with, truth be told. But you rapidly get more gear. Yeah. So let's actually take a look at our character now that we have cards. As you can see here, ability cards. Let's go to the open card screen. So you can build a hand, um, just like in five card draw and poker. And depending on what you put together, like two pair, three of a kind, straight, what have you, you'll get a special deck bonus in addition to the abilities on the card. So let's see what we've got. We've got a jack of diamonds. Okay, slot that right there. King of spades. All right, so we'll go ahead and put them all on. And right now, all we have is a high card bonus, but that's okay. Plus eight sights, better than nothing. So let's see, we've got barrage, shoot at all enemies uh, in sight in sync one. So that's a pretty cool one. But as you can see there, it says, requires 90 luck. So when you only have 100 luck, that's something that 
pretty much you'd have to use right out of the gate unless you've got some special items to boost your luck up. Uh, then we've got Shadow Salve, which we're already familiar with. That's the regeneration. And then Unholy Power. Gain Demonic Strength. Plus one HP. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to end this one here. We'll pick it up in the next one and we'll head over to the, uh, the gin mill, I guess, and start some trouble. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of uh, Hard West and that you continue to join me for more adventures here in the Gothic West. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.